In the fluid coated industry, one of the most important things we need to look at is what happens with the fluid after it exits the slot die. As a process engineer, you're concerned about how that final product looks. So when you get the fluid onto the web, you need to make sure that it's the final product in the final form exactly how you expected it. So what happens if you have a defect? Well, I look at it as a three-step process. The first step being visualization. When you have the fluid coming out and you end up with a streak, a um, miscoating, a herringbone issue, something where you have a defect that you want to analyze, the first step is to visualize what that defect is. So what way do you visualize it? You need to look at it with the naked eye. You need to look at it under a microscope. Use your online inspection equipment. And that way you're going to get a full grasp of what it is. As an example, when I was looking at a fluid coated product in the past, I was a process engineer that had a streak. I thought for sure that streak was going to be the problem of the slot die because the fluid comes out of the slot die and we tend to blame the last place that that fluid was. After inspection under a microscope, we realized that what it was was actually debris from the web on the web. So once we implemented cleaning capabilities on the web, then we got rid of the defect. So what's the next step in the process? Once you've analyzed and visualized what that is, you need to go forward and create a library of those defects so the same mistake's not made again. So what you need to do is take each defect, document it, make sure the keeper of that documents has a full listing of what not only occurred, but how it was fixed. Then once you have looked and seen if that defect has occurred in the past, then you have to go through the third step, which is a design of experiments. And that design of experiments is going to help you not only look at that defect, but understand your process overall. Typically, when I look at a DOE or a design of experiments, I like to look at a 2 to the 5 minus 1 fractional factorial statistical analysis to that design. And what that does is it allows you to look at all five possible factors that may be affecting your product with the least number of runs, making it a more efficient and a more effective way to understand your process and to look at the defects that are there. So after you've visualized, after you've created this library and done your analysis, and after you've done your experimentation, I would add that you need to make sure that everybody's aware of what's going on and that you have a control document. And most people miss this final step. And this control document is what's going to make sure that the next person in your place or the next person on the line is doing exactly what they need to do to avoid the defects in fluid coating. Mark's Coding Matters is a popular blog on paper, film, and foil converter online. To view further articles, visit pffc-online.com or the technical content section at slotdies.com.